Yeah. What's going on, guys? Back at it. Yes, with another video. So, yes, I'm still healing, guys. So, I got to zoom in to how um, loud I can be right now. Please keep showing my Aunt Jesse May some love. She wants to fill in a gap for me. I sure appreciate her. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, and share the video. Smash the like button. Let's get this video up. Let's get this video up to 1,000. 1,000 views. We got this. So what am I doing today? Ray J goes off on Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian threatens to sue. Let's just give a little backstory. Now, I learned about the sex tape a couple of years ago, but did not know what we're about to learn on this uh, in this uh, video that, yeah, let me not just spill the beans, but I'll chime in after they keep talking let's go okay he is tired of this and he is letting y'all know everything that really happened now i feel like we all already knew that kim kardashian and chris jenner masterminded this whole sex tape they did i mean that's always been something that's been in the news but now he has the receipts and what triggered ray j in the first place because i saw some people saying well why is he even bringing this up now this is old news well it's a couple of different things on the hulu series that the kardashians and the jenners have mm -hmm. there was a whole thing about this second sex tape and kanye retrieving the tape listen to this travel to get something for kim you went all the way to la to get something for kim mm -hmm. you were something else what did you get well, that's what she wants to show you. So Kanye flew home last night, and he came back this morning. He got me all of the sex tape back. Oh, my God. And he flew home and got oh. the computer it was on the hard drive. And he met up with Ray J at the airport and got it all back for me. Oh, Kim. Oh, my God. That's amazing. I know Kanye did this for me, but he also did this for my kids. I want to shield them from as much as I can. Thank you for Kanye and for his unbelievable way he does things. That's so romantic. And Ray J also shared text messages of him and Kanye planning. Okay, so this was a whole, a whole farcity. You know, I can admit that I was like, man, I used to kind of feel some type of way towards Ray J because I was like, don't bro, if, if y'all doing y'all a little thing, you know, unless this is a business and this is a, you know, you're into the, um, the porno lifestyle, the movies and you know, you're, that's what you do, run it. But if that's not something that you do and you're not publicizing it and you leak this out, that's the spin. That's what was being reported. That was the angle. That's how we misperceive things when we don't have all the information. And that is why I'm doing this video. We as consumers, you know, entertainers, people, just people in general, we perceive things based off of a little bit of informa information. And the media is humongous on influence, television, movies, all of that has the way they pitch and spin things has influence as to how we perceive things. And when we don't have the information, a lot of times, y'all, we, when we don't have all the information, a lot of times we be wrong. Yeah, we be wrong. So I have to just apologize and, and say, you know, I never said, said this to anybody, you know, but I, was, I really felt some type of way because I thought that, you know, he put her out there in the light that, she didn't want to be seen as and you know it was just disruptive to her character but what in the in what was really going on is this was all a deal this was already new this was already understood to meet up to hash everything out and Kanye says, Wax said you had a tapes in a safe. And he said, I'm assuming you know the full story from 05, right? How it happened, who broke it, the deal, who put it all together, et cetera. You had the full picture, right? Oh, you heard that. The full story, right? The full uh, understanding of who put the deal together, right? The information, right? Okay, let's go. 
from 05, right? How it happened, who broke the deal, who put it all together, et cetera. You had the full picture, right? You have to know that to understand all what I'm, um, what he's doing out of respect. Mm -hmm. So he posted those messages between him and, him and Kanye before they met up. Now, in addition, he also did not like seeing Kris Jenner taking a lie detector test on the Late Late Show. What? Did you help Kim release her sex tape? <laughs> True. Of course it's true. Thank you. Of course it's true. All right, Kylie. Oh, I here we go. That. So you you're saying that the, up. you're saying the lie detector test is cat. Well, Ray J said that that person's not even a real. Uh... Envy, shut up. No, <laughs> I don't know why you doing this. I'm into this. Confusing people. Girl, Ray J, Ray J, Ray J people. posted. This is the guy they had give Chris Janky the lie detector test. The network should be ashamed, and you should too. Y'all, y'all getting sued for playing with the truth and. That's why they don't really allow lie detector tests admissible in court because people can be trained to pass them. And then you got this crap right here. Yeah. Now, come on. Come on. Be ashamed and you should too. Y'all, y'all getting sued for playing with the truth. And so here's Ray J talking about how that lie detector test was fake. Like we like John Rogan, Google, what is his name? Ro Grogan. John Grogan. Google John, John Grogan right now. Look what, look what pops up. First thing that pops up is how to beat the lie detector test. This is a fraud. He don't even have a fucking license. He using somebody else's license. No more, dog. Like, no more, dog. I don't need your fucking money. I don't want you to call me and try to stop me. Like, I want to sue you. I want to sue every network. I want to sue the dude that did the lie detector test, the host, because the host didn't know. He doing what he thought was facts. A darn shame. Now, here you are blowing up, but now you are ruining or have ruined. Look how many years ago this was. And look what's, what's the repercussions after. And when a person is just like, man, if I can't take no more of this, please, I got to save my face. I got to step in and do something for myself, you know. So now all of y'all owe because y'all putting out false narratives of stuff that's completely not true without me being able to defend myself. This is getting good. So this is all what triggered Ray J, by the way. It was that Late Late Show with James Corden. It was that Hulu series with the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. And then Kanye posted this message, this text message that he got from Kim Kardashian, allegedly, where Kim is saying to please stop mentioning her name. She said, tell him to please stop mentioning my name. I'm almost 67 years old, and I don't always feel great, and this stresses me to no end. Well, Ray J left a comment and said, what about my mom, Chris? You tell people false stories about me making the black man look horrible for your gain. You introduced me to Steve Hurst. You masterminded everything for your family and tried to ruin me at the same time, SMH. You don't think all mothers get stressed? Are you special, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, Ray J also went on live and let people know it was about to go down. I don't know what the f you think this is. You have f with the wrong black person, period. Oh, no, you don't with the wrong one. I was just gonna handle this legally, right? And just hit you in court and just get what I'm deserved from all of y'all being foul and trying to defame me, and trying to make me look bad. When you know what's up, I'm having them send everything I got. We going through receipts tonight, Chris. Mm -hmm. We going through receipts tonight, Kim. Everything that I got, I'm gonna let them see. Mm. So my question is, if this is something that you did and it was directed like a movie, why not just publish it? You know, why not just publish it? I mean, you didn't want to be seen in that light, even though you were being seen in that light because you made it. So why not just publish it and chop it up and call it a day? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Now he also posted. There's more? Yeah, there's plenty more. OK, Ooh, he went right. on Instagram and he let them know that it's foul at the highest level. He said, F this being just racist. This is wrong to do to anybody. You think you can just F people over and get away with it forever? That's where you are wrong. I represent God's army. And now it's about to be an easy win on you devils and con artists. You stole all that money from my mom and sister, over 800000 and you had to pay it back because you were guilty and the judge ordered it. You tried to bury that just like you're trying to bury me. Now here is Ray J wow. talking about the sex tapes and the deal that they did allegedly with Steve. Deal purse because he had the receipts he had the whole entire screen pulled down to let people see on the screen all of his receipts that's why you can't do stuff 
and think it's not going to come out. What's done in the dark will come to light. Kim Kardashian got her hand right in her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that should say sex tape number one, sex tape number two, and guess what? Number the two? third sex tape or the second tape they're trying to play me on, it called Santa Barbara Sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the mother and said, hey, we're going to go with the first one because the first one is better. It gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it and made a decision. And then you get on to whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a fraud. Okay. Because how I got the information was it was leaked and he did it. And they were saying it was for publicity. So, y'all, this is humongous though. I mean, this really, really sheds the light. And it makes us realize that we can't judge, you know, people based off of a little bit of information. We shouldn't be judging folks anyway. Can't nobody judge nobody. But what I'm saying is we have to have all the information and the facts before we make an observation or want to draw conclusions about a person's character. That's big. Ooh, ooh. Wow. I mean, there's a lot going on. Um, let's skip down to this sex tape contract. Sheesh. Because he wants people to know that she made money from this. She didn't sue Ray J for it. If she felt like it was something that was leaked, why not get sued? Here is... Uh, what Ray J had to say about that. There go the sex tape contract. That's my handwriting. That's it, right? This is the sex tape full contract. So that's my handwriting. Here's what happens. Kim is rushing me. Her mom's rushing me. Let's get this done. Come on, like, let's get it signed. Kim's with me while I'm signing my contract. She's like, hurry up, babe. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and help you. I'm going to sign your deliverables for you so you can just rush it through. So Kim signs the deliverables, exactly what we about to sell to Vivid. It's her signature. I mean, it's her handwriting. Giving Steve, giving him the right to sell it. Like, here's the deliverables. And look who signed my deliverables and was in the room. Look who, look who was in the room with me. Whoop. Yeah, Ray J is uh, clearly explaining that to a new generation because our generation definitely knew that all parties involved had to sign off on this. Like, you can't do a deal with a company like Vivid for... See, I didn't know that. I'm totally clueless because I just, you know, not into folks lives like that, y'all. I just really ain't. So I'm totally clueless. My distribution without, without all parties involved signing off. Now, is this the first time he showed the contract, though, with the signatures? Mm -hmm. And I don't understand why the Kardashians. A lot of people huh? didn't believe that, though. A lot of people believe the Kardashians. Absolutely, believe. positively. Oh, well, I'm sure. I they mean, she did, did a whole lot. I was one of those people. I detected yeah, and a lot of people believe it. <laughs> now, Ray J also talked about being single and how this has actually affected him. Like, I was going to chill. I was just going to sue y'all and I'll stay shit. And, and I just kept feeling like y'all, like, no. Already don't with me anyway because of that shit. Like, I'm single now, but, like, if, if a girl wanted to, like, if she wanted to, like, send me her pictures and shit, right, so I could look at her, they don't even want to because they think I'm going to put the shit out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I talked to the homegirl, Keisha. Keisha called. No, I ain't about that life. But, you know, I can see how we were definitely ruining him dating and his prospects because if a woman thinks that, you know, you kind of janky like that, that you're willing to do something like that, then it's going to make them a little, you know, hesitant and reluctant. Because that's like a character flaw right there. It really is, you know, and it it breaks trust and all that. So I really can see how that can really, you know, mess up you trying to date and pursue, you know, other women. Oh, she like, man, I, I, I didn't forgive you. I, just didn't, I forgot about it or whatever, but you my homie. But I always had this dark thing about what you did. So it always made me hesitate on like really f***ing with you because of the morals behind the overall situation. Nah, we going to clear this shit up. Because when I show her all the facts, she start crying like, man, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Ray J hasn't gotten a good nude in years because of the goddamn Kardashians. That's what he wants y'all to know. But it I haven't does, gotten a good nude in years because of the Kardashians. It does go to show you, though, a lot of people didn't believe him. Even, you know, like yeah, you said, he's no. trying to holler Keisha Cole. She's like, no, no, I ain't sending you no nudes nah, after what you did. A lot of people didn't believe it. A lot of people roll with the Kardashians. Oh. I'm going to stop it right there, guys, because pretty much they're just wrapping it up you know and that's what it is i think the lesson in all of this is we cannot you know judge people by minimal facts and information you know if we're going to make an observation you know want to draw conclusions about a person and their character we need all the information 
and I'm so new to this. This is what really drew me into this is because I was like, okay, what is going on with this now? I know, good and well. And I was totally misinformed, did not have the information and came up with the wrong conclusion based off of just a little bit of what I heard, what I saw on you know, TV, may have, what, what may have been out there on social media, you know, in um, regards to not telling the real deal about Ray J and making it seem as if he had ill intentions when really it was all a deal. There's paperwork, proof to back this up. So lesson is before we make observations about people, guys, let's get all the information, read all the facts first. And especially before we go and attempt to put something out there on social media, because once it's out there, guys, it's out there. And that is a person's name. That is their character. That is their livelihood, their lives, you know, and they're human. That is their feelings and emotions. You know, let's just keep it honest, keep it real. If it's a deal, you sign the contract, make your bread, do what you need to do and go on to the next thing, boo boo. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one and there are gonna be more and more coming. Subscribe, share it, like it. Love you guys and keep doing what makes you happy because that's what's most important. Love you guys. Bye.